Hello, I'm Tim Smith with the Adams County Historical Society and welcome to another installment of our very popular Battle Babies series. Now remember if you like our historical content that we put up on our YouTube channel, please like and subscribe. Today we're going to talk about Gettysburg's Gettysburg namesakes. And we're standing at the home of George George on what would have been the Emmitsburg Road at the time of the battle near the edge of the town. Now, uh, General John Fulton Reynolds was killed in the fighting on July 1st west of the town. And his body was brought back to this house where uh, it was laid for a time before they put it in a wagon and took it just down the Tawny Town Road. Um, George George, uh, his wife gave birth to a child on March 28, 1865. And the child was named Charles Reynolds George undoubtedly named in honor of the Union General whose body occupied the house for a time on July 1st. I've always been interested in this aspect of the battle babies, children who were named after a person in the battle for a specific reason. So let's talk about a few more of these. Like many other communities around the country, Gettysburg has had its share of famous uh, children named after famous people. Like uh, we have our share of uh, George Washingtons and Benjamin Franklins and Thomas Jeffersons. And locally, because of our long association with Thaddeus Stevens, we have a number of Thaddeus Stevens. We have um, just by my count here in the cemetery, we have Thaddeus Stevens Blocker, Thaddeus Stevens Camp, Thaddeus Stevens Clarkson, Thaddeus Stevens Davis, Thaddeus Stevens Fleming, Thaddeus Stevens Gilliland, Thaddeus Stevens Mark, Thaddeus Stevens Pepper, Thaddeus Stevens Slants, Thaddeus Stevens Stoltz, Thaddeus Stevens Weibel, Thaddeus Stevens Welty, and here we have Thaddeus Stevens Warren. Um, he was actually a member of Company E, 2nd Pennsylvania Infantry, uh, at the outbreak of the war. And um, he died in 1868. We also, in the same uh, Warren plot, we have another Thaddeus Stevens Warren, I believe a nephew of that Thaddeus Stevens. He was born in 1869 after Thaddeus Stevens had died. And uh, he died in 1956. And he was actually a licensed battlefield guide. I can imagine giving tours of the battlefield and explaining to people that you were named after Thaddeus Stevens, the famous radical Republican congressman. There are a number of children in our area named after Abraham Lincoln, as one would imagine. Abraham Lincoln Altland was the son of Matthias and Catherine Mummert Altland, and he was born on June 1, 1860, not far from East Berlin, Adams County. Abraham Lincoln had been nominated as the Republican presidential candidate just two weeks prior to his birth. He died in November 1953 at age 93 and is buried in Mummert's Meeting House Cemetery near East Berlin. Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln Jacobs, uh, the son of George Jacobs and Suzanne Leitner, was born in Abbottstown on February 22, 1865. Uh, George Lincoln Strickhauser, the son of George and Susan Strickhauser, was born in Gettysburg on April 6, 1865. His grave here in Evergreen Cemetery says, G. Lincoln. Moses Abraham Lincoln Trossel, the son of Moses Trossel, was born in Mount Pleasant Township on April 14, 1865, the same day that the president was shot at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Trossel died in 1945 and is buried in Mount Carmel Cemetery in Littlestown. 
We have William Lincoln Scott, who was born on June 9, 1865. His father, George Washington Scott, ha served in Company B, 21st Pennsylvania Cavalry. So naturally, he would name his son after another famous president. Ruth Lincoln Walter, uh, there's a Abraham Lincoln Earnshaw, and right here we have Harry Lincoln Pitzer, the son of Emanuel Pitzer. He was born in Cumberland Township during the height of the 1864 presidential campaign, which pitted President Abraham Lincoln against former General George Brinton McClellan. Harry Lincoln Pitzer died when he was a little more than a month old on November 8, 1864, the very day of the election that saw President Lincoln ushered into his second term. Of course, George Brenton McClellan was very popular with many soldiers during the war. Um, we have a George Brenton McClellan Booker, the son of Adam and Susanna Booker, who was born on June 8th, 1863, while his father was stationed in Suffolk, Virginia, as part of the 165th Pennsylvania Drafted Militia. He's buried at Floors Church. And here in Evergreen Cemetery, we have George Brenton McClellan Sterner who was born on October 6th, 1864. Also, during the height of the 1864 presidential campaign, his father, David Sterner, owned a foundry on Railroad Street at the time of the battle. The Adams County Historical Society is in possession of an iron stove uh, that we have on display that was one of his stoves. Um, and also, I should mention that uh, if you look at the famous photograph of Josephine Miller, who lived on the Emmitsburg Road and baked bread for the soldiers, there's a photograph of her in front of the 1st Massachusetts Infantry with a David Sterner stove. Um, and if you're wondering, yes, it was George McClellan and not Abraham Lincoln who carried Adams County in the 1864 election. I wonder who David Sterner might have voted for. There are a number of children uh, in our community named after Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, we have, of course, John Grant Rupp, that was uh, the son of John and Catherine Rupp. And he was born on January 9th, 1863. Um, according to the records of St. James Lutheran Church, there was an Anna Grant Spangler, the daughter of Alexander and Anna Maria Spangler, born on April 6th, 1863. There's a George Grant Earnshaw, who was born in Gettysburg on March 3rd, 1864. Uh, George Earnshaw was an officer in Company B, 138th Pennsylvania Infantry at the time of the birth and would have served under General Grant. There's a Charles Grant Herbst, uh, the son of Charles Terps, born on March 1st, 1865. Uh, Sarah Broadhead, uh, some of you might have heard of, who kept a diary uh, during the battle. Uh, she had a child named Nellie Grant Broadhead, um, born in uh, 1865 and died shortly after. And she's buried here in the Evergreen Cemetery. And of course, um, there's a William Washington Grant Meals. Uh, born on February 22nd, 1865, on George Washington's birthday. His father, William B. Mills of York Street, was serving in the 184th Pennsylvania Infantry during the siege of Petersburg at the time, under the overall command of Ulysses S. Grant. So he's obviously named after his father, um, Washington uh, Grant, uh, so named after three people, I guess, William Washington Grant Mills. And then right here, we have um, George Washington Grant Hagee, uh, born in uh, 1864. So I love that when you combine the you know, two presidents together. 
One of the more interesting stories surrounds this gentleman. Here we have strong Vincent Bushman, son of Louis Adolphus Bushman and Carolyn Miller Little. Um, he was born on September 29th, 1863. For many years, he owned a store on the Tony Town Road at the base of Little Round Top. He died in Hanover, Pennsylvania on August 6th, 1937, and was buried here in Evergreen Cemetery. According to his obituary, Mr. Bushman was named for General Strong Vincent, who was wounded in the Battle of Gettysburg on July 2nd and died on July 7th, 1863. General Vincent was taken to the Bushman home after being wounded. When relatives claimed his body of General Vincent, they heard of the birth of the son in the Bushman home and requested that the baby be named after the deceased general. According to the baptismal record in St. James Lutheran Church, strong Vincent Bushman was born on September 2nd, 1863. So, um, the son of Lewis and Carolyn Bushman. So there's a little bit of discrepancy there. But um, what a name. Strong Vincent Bushman. Being the commander of the victorious Army of the Potomac, it should come as no surprise that during the days and months following the Battle of Gettysburg, more children were named in honor of George Gordon Meade than any other soldier on the field. In a previous Battle Babies video, we already discussed Jeremiah Meade Culp, who was born on July 4th, 1863, and Jane Meade Thompson, who was born on June 30th, 1863. But there are plenty more where that came from. Lorena Meade Tipton Riggs, the daughter of Solomon Tipton, was born in September of 1863. Alice Mead Hake Sheeds, um, the daughter of James Hake and Martha McCreary, was born on December 10th, 1863. Charles Mead Epley uh, is buried in the cemetery. Franklin Mead Garlack um, was born on February 10th, 1863 and he was five months old at the time of the battle. There's a famous picture of him and his sister, Anna Garlack. They hid in a basement on Baltimore Street with her family during the battle. But when he was baptized on February 22nd, 1864, his full name was listed as Francis Meade Garlack. In 1928, Francis, or Frank, would have a son named Francis Meade Gardlock. So the tribute to General Meade continued for generations through the family. Mia Meade Comfort was born on July 15, 1863. The child of Charles Comfort and uh, Catherine Garlock. Um, Clara Meade Weikert was born in Highland Township on August 18, 1865. George Albert Sell, the son of George and Sarah Sell, was born in Fairfield um, in 1862, March of 1862. But when he was baptized in February 1864, his name was transcribed as George Albert Meade Sell. So apparently Meade was added to his name following the battle. Um, there's a Meade Sailor, an A. Meade Rebert. There's a Annie Meade Davis, who was born in September 1863, and she was the daughter of Owen Davis and Rachel Bell Davis, and their family lived on Chambersburg Street. They would have been hiding in the Troxel Cellar during the battle. So she was, um, you know, uh, the, her mother's pregnant at the time. There's George Meade Patterson, and he was born in December of 1863, the son of George Miller Patterson. 
And uh, Patterson, the Patterson Farm was right near the Mason-Dixon line on the Emmitsburg Road. And on June 30th, 1863, Robinson's, John Cleveland Robinson's division was encamped on um, Patterson's farm. Uh, there's Ambrose Mead Taylor, uh, George Mead Thistle, William Mead Henry, born near Cash Town, George Franklin Mead Yates, and finally, we're at the grave of Rosa Mead Thorne who was the daughter of Peter and Elizabeth Thorne, born on November 1st, 1863. Of course, it was Rosa that Elizabeth Thorne was pregnant with while she was digging grave for the soldiers in this cemetery in July of 1863. Rosa died on August 23rd, 1878 at age 14 and is buried here in Evergreen Cemetery. So while it appears that popular historians are hesitant to give General Meade the proper credit for his stunning victory over Robert E. Lee at the Battle of Gettysburg. Local residents who were here during the battle and who had witnessed what had occurred had no problem in naming their children after the greatest general in all of American history.